challenges so many people in our society have now around the globe and that there are people who wander around the streets around here in Redwood City they go for walks they're running a few people here and there it's pretty quiet and it seems like a very nice you know time walking on the streets and it seems like things are peaceful and there's plenty of people for whom it's not so peaceful. That uh, all the challenges that uh, come with being sheltered in place, not having work, not even having a place to live perhaps, with um, um, being sick, being concerned about being sick, being concerned about loved ones, people in New York, people in Los Angeles, people in, here in the Bay Area, people in Spain and Italy, Japan and Thailand, that these are extraordinary times we're living in. And there are times that really, uh, I, you know, some of us, those of us who meditate, can call upon our meditation as a support. But the question is, that all of us can ask, what kind of support do we want meditation to provide us? And it's useful to get become clear about what that support is. Is it simply a support to not be distressed, to be a little bit calm and more peaceful? Which that's valuable, we need people who can be calm. But is it to be calm and removed? Or is it to be calm and be able to somehow be present and support? Is it a time for us to meditate so that we have greater compassion and care for others? I am in awe of doctors, nurses, medical profession and what they have to do now, and what they're gearing up to do or fully involved to do. And, and some of them, you know, have responsibilities at home, they have children, they have their own parents who are taken care of. And now they're caring for people who have the coronavirus and not knowing, will they become sick? And where is this gonna go? So to share this experience of the pandemic with our society, to feel like we're in it with everyone else, that we are sharing the experience, and how is it that meditation can support us and help us in how we share it? Is there, if we share it only with our fear, only with our challenges, only with our distress, then perhaps uh, we're not really sharing it with everyone. If we're only aware of our own challenges and difficulties right now, maybe meditation can give us a space to understand that we're really sharing these difficulties w with millions of people, ten hundreds of millions of people, billions of people, and that it's a shared human experience. And what, and what does that do to us when we open up and see it as a shared experience? That what's happening to others is in some ways happening to us. What's happening to us is shared by others. And what if, it, what if, what if this is a, not a time, even in the isolation of being sheltered in place, what if this is not the time uh, to be just taking care of oneself? not the time to only be thinking about oneself. And how can we think wisely and usefully 
for others? How can we be informed in ways that make us a better person for the world around us? How can we care for people far away? How could we empathize? How could we sympathize with the plight they're in, the challenges they're in? This is a time for lots of love, for lots of compassion. If any of us have been cultivating compassion and love, this is the time for it. This is the time to tap into our capacity. So to sit and meditate, and perhaps as a way of tapping into our capacity for care, our capacity for compassion, our capacity to hold the suffering of others, to be a, a, a compassionate companion, to accompany the world, accompany others, just as they accompany us in our challenges in this time and era, time and era, time and time and place. I think it's important, uh, really important, that meditation at this time in our society be understood to be something that supports and connects us to others, that it has a role and place in how we as individuals meet the situation we find ourselves in. That we don't uh, kind of uh, close in or push out the world around us, try to just hunker down and just take care of me, myself, and mine. And if meditation is just kind of helping us do that, um, maybe we're really not living up the full potential, at least of what Buddhist meditation is about. Maybe we want to find a way to meditate so that we have the capacity to breathe easily, openly, kindly, as we read the news, as we talk to friends, as we talk to family members, and as we go through our own challenges with food and family and who we're, li who we're living with, then it goes on and on in our health. to pause, just like the whole globe is pausing. To pause in order to reflect deeply. I really, I'm really fond of the idea that the, of, the, of the word contemplative. I don't know, maybe different people have different associations with it. But for me, a contemplative is someone who's living their life kind of in the depth, from the depths of their heart. They're reflecting deeply, they're connected to something that's spiritual, to what's sacred. They're connected to the depths of awareness and presence and compassion. A contemplative is trying to live from a different set of values that come from de being deeply um, uh, connected to the inner life and the outer life. And and this, what a time to be a contemplative. What a time to be a contemplative within the world, as part of the world. And um, so that's kind of what's been on my mind today, is how many people are suffering and challenging. There's, uh, some people say there's a tsunami coming in some places in the world of the number of people getting the coronavirus is going to increase dramatically in the next few weeks and that uh, we don't know what kind of challenges our society will have. But I hope that meditation makes us someone who's better prepared for that. That meditation is really addressing how we are in relationship to all this. That our med meditation is relevant for what the world is going through. That we become a contemplative in heart, body, and mind, that somehow, in a small way, is not an island in the world, but rather is the raft of the people who are in the world. That somehow our calm, our care, our, our support, somehow or other makes a difference for the welfare and happiness of others. That's certainly my heartfelt wish at this time. And um, so, 
I hope that uh, whatever ways that we've sat meditated today and, and perhaps any benefit from these teachings might be for the welfare and happiness of everyone these days on this globe. And just as this virus has gone out and touched just about everybody in this globe one way or the other, may it be that our care, our love, our collected shared humanity and a shared concern and support for each other, may that be also spread out. So we'll remember this time of the COVID-19 virus. That was a time where everyone came together and supported each other and helped everyone go through this. May our meditation help us help that to be so. Thank you. Mm-hmm.